Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another great random tutorial on the channel. We're back at it again here today. We're going to be talking about YouTube subscriber count and how you can implement that into your videos or live stream. Let's get into it. So first things first, you want to open your internet browser, head to your YouTube studio, into your analytics sections to be more precise over here. And then once you're actually there, you can actually your real time updating a live subscriber and see live count. So usually you want to go ahead and click over here get the link at the top and put it into OBS as a browser source. But unfortunately, as of now, it does not work. As you guys can see, it is totally blank over here. There's nothing we can do. It is just blank. So in order to fix this, this is what we can do. So open a new tab, head back to your YouTube studio analytics once again here, just like that. And from here on into the general analytics section, just the front page right here, you got your real time updating live subscribers, see live count. Now, don't click here, just keep it as it is, just like that. That is perfect, keep it like that. You want to go ahead and click over here at the top. You want to go ahead and copy the URL of your browser, minimize it, head back to your OBS, just like that. And as you guys can see, I'm going to bring that over here on the side because it's important that we do so, as you guys can see. We're going to go ahead and add a new source, a browser source. You can rename it to whatever you want. You can call it subscriber account if you guys want. As you guys can see, I already have mine down here. Uh, which I'm going to showcase how you can fix it whenever you close OBS and you reopen OBS, it usually will go gray. I need to just fix it. I'm going to showcase that in a couple of minutes here. But before we go any further, let's continue here. So create a new source, a browser source, rename it however you guys want. Like I said, click OK. Control A, the URL over here, erase it and Control V, which you just copied a second ago, right here, just like that. And then there's nothing else you got to change over here. If you guys want to change anything, you guys can. It's totally up to you if you guys want to change the color or anything like that, you guys can. But I keep it the way it is because I more usually stay in a tone of gray whenever I'm streaming uh, because of my stream chat. My camera is a bit darker, so, you know, all of that. Just go ahead and click OK. Once that is completed, as you guys can see, we have our source right here that is showing everything that we need. So now what we got to go ahead and press here is on OBS, OK? Um, let me just full screen that real quick. So as you guys can see in 2OBS, I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm seeing. Yeah, you guys can. So over here, as you guys can see, there's an interact button right here. We're going to go ahead and click on that, okay? Interact right here. Very important that we do so. So what this will do is will allow us to interact with our source, which is really cool. So click interact. And then all what you got to do here is put this over there. Click the X, just like that. And all you got to do here is rescale and crop what you want to have on the stream because you obviously don't want to showcase all your analytics here. You just want to have your subscriber count in real time. So go ahead and hold that alt button, left click, and just crop what you want. Just like that, okay? Simple as that. Go ahead and crop what you want, just like that, and then place it wherever you want onto your stream. Could be under your face camera, could be in the bottom left corner, right corner, however you want, just like that. You can always like get it bigger, but just Keep in mind, if the more you are going to actually put it bigger, the more blurry it will get. So I usually put it like pretty small, so about like this, and I put it like where my camera is. As you guys can see, mine is actually right here, okay? And there's the actual one as well right there. Now I got two. I don't need two. And so there you go. Now you just have to place it wherever you want onto your stream. That's how it works. And if you guys are having a hard time placing it around, here's a little tip and trick right there for you guys. Go to your settings and go to your source alignment, alignment snapping. You can always uh, enable this, click apply and OK, and that will actually give you freedom to move it around wherever you want, just like that. It's going to be extremely fluid. You can place it wherever you want because the snapping, what it does is just, it snaps it to uh, other sources. So technically, if I just enable this back, as you guys can see, I can have a bit of a hard time moving it around as it's like snapping to other source, like I mentioned earlier, or the borders of like what's displaying over, what is displayed over here. So. Little tips and tricks for you guys right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove my browser source. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And so now this is the part where we actually get to fix that problem. Because whenever you're going to boot up OBS for a second time, uh, you know, what will actually happen here is your subscriber count will be broken here. Because as you guys can see, mine is right here. It's gray, okay? It, it will be the same for you. It will be the same for you. So what you want to go ahead and do <coughs> is click your subscriber count just one time. Go to interact and once again here, all what you got to do here is slide the thing onto the other side. Boom, just like that. And there you go. It is actually fixed. As you guys can see, it is fixed right here. And if we go back, you can actually see the numbers going away and coming back. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, that's how you fix it. So thank you guys all so much for watching this 
uh, little tutorial here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it was helpful, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share my content so that more people like you get to see it and fix their problems. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace!